Hello and welcome to this video where I want to show you version 2.0 of Light Guard classes. Light Guard classes is a lightweight, high performance library that allows you to simplify the precondition checks at the beginning of your parameterized methods. So let's jump right into an example. Suppose you want to write a class called account that should at least have a nickname. Following object oriented principles, you would create a constructor accepting a string that you store in a private field, like in this example. If you embrace encapsulation, then you should check that nickname is not null, and this is probably the most often performed check on parameters. You create an if block at the beginning of the method checking for null, and if this is the case, then you throw an argument null exception. This is where light guard classes comes into play. You can download the library via NuGet and then use the must not be null assertion method that does the same thing as the if block before. Since version 2 of light guard classes, the assertion methods also return the value being checked, so you can simplify the constructor even more by assigning the return value directly to the property. Furthermore, you don't need to pass the parameter name if you don't want to. This removes even more clutter from this constructor. Light guard classes offers you assertion methods for strings, GUIDs, URIs, date times, for equality and comparison checks, for collections, dictionaries, and probably other types in the future. For example, strings can be easily checked if they are null, empty, or contain only white space. And all this can be done in a single method call which throws different exceptions depending on the invalid state of the string. In this other example where we want to implement a repository that gets data via calling a web service, you can see that we check the incoming URI for being a non-null absolute URI using the HTTP or HTTPS scheme, all with one line of code. Every assertion method of light guard classes offers you the ability to customize the resulting exception messages in three ways. If you set the parameter name, this name gets injected into the default exception message. By default, light guard classes refers to the subject as the value or the string, and this will be replaced by the parameter name if you pass it in. Secondly, if you are not satisfied with the default exception message, then you can use the message parameter to pass in your own. And finally, if you want to throw your own exception object, you can use the exception parameter to pass in a factory method that creates the exception object when the check fails. Keep in mind that you should only use one of the three ways for customization. If you pass in a custom message, then the parameter name will be ignored, and in turn, when you pass in a custom exception, then message and parameter name will be ignored. But these parameters are optional, so if you don't need them, just leave them out. So, what's new in version 2.0? First of all, LightGuard Classes is now a .NET Standard 1.0 library, which runs on a wide variety of platforms like .NET 4.5 or .NET Core 1.0, and possible future platforms that will implement the standard. Furthermore, a breaking change of 2.0 is that there is no more conditional compilation. In version 1, every assertion method of LightGuard Classes was marked with the conditional attribute so you could include or exclude these calls to the precondition checks when you compiled the project. This feature was initially introduced to the library to be in line with Bertrand Meyer's design by contract, where you could also selectively compile pre- and post-condition checks. However, I didn't find this feature useful in my own projects, because in most cases there is only a small piece of code which was performance critical and where I would have turned off precondition checks in release mode. But with the compile assertion symbol of light guard classes in version 1, you could either turn all checks on or off. And thus compile assertions is gone in version 2. This allows the assertion methods to have return values, which in turn grants a fluent API and the ability to assign the subject directly to a field or variable or what have you. So in the end, what do you get? Light guard classes is a lightweight, high performance .NET standard library that you can use for precondition checks at the beginning of your methods. It is built to provide meaningful exception messages that you'd expect from production code, and you can easily customize the exception if it doesn't fit your needs. It is thoroughly tested and I use it in my daily programming life. Furthermore, Light Guard Classes is open source under the MIT license on GitHub, so if you have questions or want to contribute, please use the issues feature and send me pull requests. If you enjoy the library, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your coworkers and friends. So thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye!